Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I will solve the equation 2 over x plus 5 over x minus 1 is equal to 6. To proceed, we will first of all simplify the fractions or clear fraction. To do that, I have to find the, XC, the LCM of the denominators of the fraction in the left-hand side of the equation, which is x and x minus 1. The LCM of x and x minus 1 is x times x minus 1. Now, x times x minus 1 divided by x will give us x minus 1. x minus 1 times 2 will give us 2 bracket x minus 1. Also, x bracket x minus 1 divided by x minus 1 will give us x. 5 times x will give us 5x is equal to 6. Let us open the brackets. 2 times x is 2x. 2 times minus 1 is minus 2 plus 5x. x times x is x squared. x times minus 1 is minus x. Then it is equal to 6. Now, 2x plus 5x is 7x minus 2 over x squared minus x is equal to 6. I will now have to cross multiply to clear fractions. I'll put over 1 here and then cross multiply it. 7x minus 2 times 1 give us 7x minus 2. Then 6 times x squared minus x. Let's also open this bracket. 6 times x squared is 6x squared. And 6 times minus x is minus 6x. Then it is equal to 7x minus 2. Then let us collect like terms. Then we now have 6x squared minus 6x minus 7x. Then plus 2 is equal to 0. Minus 6x minus 7x will give us minus 13x. Then plus 2 is equal to 0. So this is a quadratic equation. We can use any of the formulas or method rather of solving quadratic equation. We can use either completing the square method, formula method, or even graphical method. Or we can use um, factorization method. Let's use factorization method in this. So we now have the sum as minus 13x and the product as 6 times 6x squared times 2, giving us 12x squared. So we'll look for factors of 12 that when we add them together, we'll have minus 13. Factors of 12 that when they are added together, give us minus 13. Those factors are minus 12 and minus 1. So minus 12x minus x, that's minus 1x, will give us minus 13x. And minus 12x times minus x will give us 12x squared. So I will now substitute minus 13x for minus 12x minus x into the original quadratic equation. That becomes 6x squared minus 12x minus x plus 2 is equal to 0. Then I will group. In the first bracket, the common factor is 6x. I will bring out the 6x. Remaining x minus 2. Because 6x times x will give me 6x squared. And 6x times minus 2 will give me minus 12x. And in the second bracket, the common factor is minus 1. Now I'll bring that minus 1 out. And I have x minus 2. Minus 1 times x is minus x. And minus 1 times minus 2 give me plus 2 equals to 0. Then these two brackets are common or the same. I'll take 1. Then put these other ones inside the bracket. 6x minus 1 is equal to 0. Then I will equate both brackets to 0. So x minus 2 is equal to 0 or 6x minus 1 is equal to 0. Then x is equal to 2 or x is equal to 1 over 6. These are 
the roots of this equation and each of these roots of the equation satisfy this um, equation 2 over x plus 5 over x minus 1. 